new Iranian tank spotted a huge military exercise. The Islamic Revolution Guards Corps ground force has unveiled into service a Karar variant of the upgraded T-72 main battle tank. The new version of the Soviet-era tank was spotted at a huge military exercise in southern Iran. The advanced version of T-72 in Karar configuration, also known as T-72M1. The new tank is equipped with a camouflage system that provides concealment against thermal infrared radar detection. It is also furnished with an electro-optical fire control system, laser range finders, and a ballistic computer. The upgrade appears to involve extensive modifications to the existing turret to thicken its frontal armor. The armor on the side of the turret is flat now rather than rounded. The commander's cupola, machine gun, and hatch have been removed, with the latter replaced with a simplified forward opening hatch. The war games conducted this week by the Islamic Revolution Guards Corps and the Persian Gulf were intended to send a warning to Israel, the country's top military commanders said on Friday. Amid concerns over possible Israeli plans to target Iranian nuclear sites. That's according to Iran's Tasnim news agency. Meanwhile, images aired by Iran's national TV showed missiles leveling a building similar to Dimona at the end of the exercises on Friday. One stage of the drills featured the firing of 16 ballistic missiles at hypothetical enemy targets. IRGC Commander-in-Chief Major General Hossein Salami said after the exercises that Iran will cut off the hands of enemies if they make a wrong move and that the distance between actual operations and military exercises is only a change in the angle of launching the missiles. Iran's ballistic missiles have a range of 2,000 kilometers and the entire occupied Palestine and U.S. bases in the region are within their reach.